Hello everybody. This is what you need when you want to do a bow ladder. <clears throat> I'm going to show you how I bow ladder. This is for the friend who did um, the plates to me. Uh, he's never been shaving with the um, traditional way with the brush and so on. And he's got a beard and everything. So he's going to use my razor. I gave him a razor so he can use to trim the lines. So I'm just going to show him and you how I do when I do a bow ladder. I get soap. This time I use my soap because he's got my soap. He got a pack of soap. I think about that amount. It is actually too much, but I usually take about that amount. Uh, put it in a bowl. This is a cereal bowl, plain cereal bowl. And press it out with a thumb like this. You don't have to press it. I do it because I want to have it smeared out. Then I gave him a brush, a razor, and uh, soap, some blades. Can I put it on to take away this? Just so he could uh, start shave. And um, I do it just because. He's so kind to me, helping me with these things, so I gave him proper shaving equipment to use. You don't have to have a bowl with water. This is, um, as you can see, a mug, shaving soap mug. I can use use as a gin and tonic mug. The, this is the bound mug I always use to soak my brushes in. You have water running here, so you can do it uh, very easy, just by Letting the brush uh, be under the cold water. I always use cold water, but I'm showing you how I do it. Bowl of cold water, just put a brush in it. I'm going to show you how you sh not should do, and then I'm going to show you how it should be. When people talk about don't have too much water in uh, the brush, uh, I flick two times like this, and then I go to the pack. Uh, you can do it like this and start, but then you're gonna get, as you see, there's a lot of water here. You're gonna get it in this frothy thing right there, very bubbly, very frothy thing. But if you work this, you can actually get a nice ladder. As you can see, it started picking up, nothing special happened. You add water to it. At Dunk the brush and you get, as you can see, water running there. And this time it frothes up again. But if you keep on working it, I do more like whipping motion. Some people do circular things back and forth. I do a little bit of both. But you can do that <laughs> over the rim and everything. I try to keep that soap in the bowl. As you can see, he started to build up some ladder already. But if you add more water, dunk that brush, I can see a lot of water. This soap can handle a lot of water, but if you use too much water, you have to work with it very much to get what right consistency to the ladder. And as you can see, this is very airy, very wet you can use it if you work it more it's gonna get better and better as more as you work but i usually don't dunk so much water in it as you can see there are a lot of bubbles big bubbles and so in that in that ladder but if you work it it's gonna actually work this is not too much water in this soap because my soap can handle a lot of water. If this would be another soap, it maybe didn't work. But uh, you have to use the right amount of water to each uh, soaps. As you can see, there are a lot of, lot of ladder here. And you can see the peakiness on the side if you just take the brush and put it on the, on the side and drag it out, you can get these nice peaks. Uh, and if you add even more water, if you will do like this and you add more water 
and you get a really really runny wet ladder this is totally shit <laughs> you can use it of course as you see it really goes but it doesn't stick together and it runs out if you do it like this so, so it's this is too much you can't work this into ladder so don't use too much water but you have to use water i'm gonna clean up and uh, do a new soap showing you how i do it when i got that perfect ladder i think it's perfect and here we are again I put the same amount of water and um, soap in this bowl. Take the brush from the mug, soak for 10 seconds is enough. Two shakes, and then it's you don't have to flick it really much as like that. You just take let it drip off two easy shakes and then you start building the ladder. And the first thing you get is this thick or the pasty uh, feeling this is the almost the same consistency you get when you load from the tub and load in the brush as you can see you're loading the brush and uh, work it first and when you don't get any more it, it doesn't feel any more different than just a big paste just dip the, the bristles, just leave it as you can see, there's a little bit water and keep on swirling a little bit. And you see, it starts to get building up some more water. And I, I add more water to it right now, and uh, I'll start to not foam up, but it start to get ladery. If that's a word, I don't know. And keeping those. Uh, corners or this, the sides when the ladder builds up you push it down keep on pushing it down through all the time so you have everything centered in the bottom as you can see thick uh, pasty thing this could be perfect for uh, face ladder put it on your face and you can uh, build up the ladder on the face and adding more water to the face but Today we're going to do a bow ladder, so here we got a little bit fluffy there, but it can be better when I'm adding more water. Big dunk, as you can see, not so much water there, but still some water. And the bristles also wet. And you're going to see it start to explode in ladder right now. I do this whisking motion and whisking and whisking some and I turn in the bowl as you can see so it works everywhere in the bowl bowl bottom in the bottom of the bowl where the soap is and almost all the soap is dissolved into the ladder right now. And I can try to see how this this ladder feels by doing these peak tests. And you can look at it and see how it looks and if you want more water so getting more let's say more wetter <laughs> simple word but you can't find them sometimes and more water if you want to have it pasty yeah, have it pasty yes, like this or you can add you can add water like this too if you are very careful just a little bit water running and just add a little squirt of water and work that in and you're going to be leaving more ladder. This is the preference you have to learn Morten. The name of the guy that helped me with these plates, his name is Morten. So this is a video for him and this is a video for others if they are interested to see it. But this is the way I build ladder. As you can see there are sort of tons of ladder here. Uh, I can do easily a seven pass shape, but not, not really. But there is lots of ladder here. If he's not going to do the whole face, hopefully in the future. But if he's not going to do, take the half amount of that soap I do, and you get half a half amount of ladder. But this is just something you have to learn. Very easy to do it if you take it easy and add water. Don't add too much. 
take it slow and this is the uh, amount of lather I want in my soap if you want uh, more you can add more but I think this is perfect I'm gonna keep this lather like this because I'm not gonna rinse this off but I'm gonna do a shave and saving this this uh, lather I hope you found this interesting and Morten I hope you think this was uh, a guide you can use you have to of course try it yourself and see the consistency of this ladder and try to see how it feels and how wet it can be and so on put too much water sometimes put too little water sometimes and see how it feels how, how your skins like it uh, it's a personal preference uh, nothing is right or wrong as long as you get water to the soap and you build up a ladder and ladder and you can uh, shave with so what do you think about this? I think it's a perfect ladder, in my opinion. Really, really nice and peaky. You can play around with this very long time, very much if you want, and work with it really much. So, now I'm going to prepare my shave. I'm going to use this, of course. <laughs> uh, thank you, Morten, for helping me with these plates, uh, cutting them out to me. As I told you from the beginning, Morten got the other razor I did, the, the two of these, one for me and one for Morten. He got a brush, a half brush with that synthetic knot I got, and um, he got uh, my soap, one of my soaps. So this is soap, same soap base, and he gets some blades so he can start to use uh, start to shave. That was everything, everybody. Thank you for watching. Now I'm gonna do a shave, and you can see you next time whenever it is. Bye, swan, bye bye.